If I had a thousand million dollars in my bank account, I would get a Tesla. But if I don't, I would just get a bicycle. Hmm. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. In this video, I'll be simplifying if statement in JavaScript. When we're building applications, there are times where we need to make decisions. Not everything goes one flow. For example, if the rain is falling, you are going to go outside with the umbrella. But if it is not falling, you can just go outside like that. Same thing with applications. There are times where you need to specify a condition. Like if this condition is met, this code should run. But if this condition is not met, then some other code should run. These are called conditional statements. And in JavaScript, you can implement conditional statements with if statements. And I'll be showing you some examples to explain how if statements work. You can see this simple code here. There is no decision making. Everything is just happening like that. First, this variable is declared. Next, this line goes next this line goes next this line goes next this is also executed like that and so on if i come here and i run no test you can see that it is even is logged to the console how did we get here is also logged to the console number is greater than 40 is also logged to the console this is just a one-way flow where everything that we have declared happens but sometimes we need conditionals like if certain conditions are not met some code shouldn't be run or if certain conditions are met some code should be run and that is where we use conditional statements in javascript an example of conditional statement is the if statement so with the if statement you do something like if then you pass your condition if that condition is evaluated to true then you are going to run some things here if that condition is not true you can use else and use if again to pass another condition if that condition is true you run some code here if that condition is not true then you can use the final else and what the final else does is that if this condition is false and this condition is false then just run this one here if you don't use else if or anything if you just leave it like this and you have if condition and you run some code here if that condition is false then this line will not be executed and your code would keep going now how do you use if statement with this example that i have here so here we have is even is true right so instead of just logging it is even then we can put this in an if statement where we say if is even then we open bracket and then we put this console log inside so if this is even is evaluated as true this would run if it is evaluated as false this line will not be executed also for this one we can put it in an if statement or say if number greater than 40 is evaluated to true then we want to run this line if it is not greater than 40 then it is not going to run this line if i come here and i clean this and i run no test you can see it is even is logged to the console why because this condition we have specified here is true this is it here how did we get here is run this one we didn't put it in any conditional so that is definitely going to run and then here we also have if number is greater than 40 then console log number is greater than 40 and because number here 50 is indeed greater than 40 you can see that it is run here if i come here now and i put false and i run node test again you can see that it is even is not logged here and the reason for that is because this condition we have specified here is evaluated to false so this line is not going to run and if i come here and i make the number 30 and let me clean the console and i run the test you can see that only how did we get here is logged to the console because this is evaluated to false this does not run this is evaluated to false because number is not greater than 40 so this also does not run if i want to add an else statement to this i can come here and say else console.log it is odd so basically we're saying if this condition is true run this else run this and if i come here and i run no test you can see that it is odd is run from this else statement because this first if statement evaluates to false here i can also use an else if so i can say if number is greater than 40 console log number is greater than 40 else if number is greater than 25 console.log number is greater than 25 i come here and i run the test you can see number is greater than 25 is logged because we have specified another condition that is true but if this number now becomes 20 then none of it is going to run you can see we don't have number is greater than anything here because 20 does not meet this condition and it also doesn't pass this condition so for this case we can also specify an else where we say if this is false if this is false then regardless of what that number is 
just run this one so here we can just say number is logged if i come here and i run this with no test you can see number is logged you can have as many else if as you want with if statements but you can only have one else statement which should be the last the else statement is just like a default where you say if the previous conditions are not met then the else statement should run so this is how if statements work in javascript there are advanced use cases for this when writing applications there are so many ways you can use if statements for example if a user is subscribed for something you run some code if a user is not subscribed you run some other code if a user has this amount of money you allow them to purchase something on an e-commerce store if they don't have that amount of money in their balance then that code cannot be run so this is how if statement works. they allow you to create conditionals in code where you get to decide which code will run based on the conditions that you have set if you enjoyed this video give it a like and also subscribe for more simplified content